Hey there, everyone. This is Cal playing VIP3. Last time we did, like, turns out challenge from an author has two routes, a mild and a chilly version. We did the mild version because I was expecting everything to be super tough, but uh, turns out everything went pretty alright. So let's check out the spicy version. So a reminder, it's a puzzle level. There's gonna be four sections all in a row. I do not... Okay, this does spring some memories. So here we end up... Oh, right. Right, 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 right. I think... I think, yeah, no, no, yeah, I think I... You're supposed to, yeah, lead it up. Yeah, doors are reset. Okay, so... <laughs> just gonna go in the door immediately. I don't wanna say. I don't wanna remember. So, like, what you're supposed to do... Is you put it here on the yellow robe that is conveniently there as some kind of indicator because then it's gonna jump up. But you see, instead of properly jumping up, you just went up the turnstile. What a popular junction muncher! The most delicious of foods. Now the puzzle becomes do I still want my buddy? No, that was the whole puzzle. All right! That was puzzle number one! Do you know how to drive? Now we're at Yoshi's Island 4. All right, there's a bomb, there's a hill, there's a bomb with a hill underneath. There's also a hermit crab somewhere, and it smells real bad. So, okay, so it's probably supposed to destroy that with a piece switch of some kind. Piece switch that you can find down here. That you can't really rescue unless maybe there's a Yoshi somewhere. Or you're supposed to use a bomb to explode the shell. Like, I'm just gonna. Yeah, see, there's this little blue vat space here. You do that to destroy the guy. So then you can return back in time. Things will respawn, but what dead remains dead. What a puzzle! Alright, so far so good. Like, there's the big handy blue coin just kind of chilling there. And that little tapioca raveno spot. That's a real word. So blue coins don't turn into blocks. They just turn into dreams. And my dreams don't turn into blocks. They just sap my self-esteem. That's a bad thing. Well, this is going pretty okay. This is the part where we got a feather. What do I want to do with a feather? I don't know what I would do later. Loot a lot of feather. But then we got this guy. Okay, so this is probably a Koopa swapping puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's gonna jump out. Like, maybe we're supposed to jump in the other way. Or I can jump on his stupid head and he's gonna... It's gonna destroy itself. I'm probably supposed to bring him here. I should have brought him here downstairs instead. So when he goes there, it turns into a blue Koopa. So then, then I can make him spit, like kick the shell over here, which will cause a whole meringue of problems and eventually does something over there. Am I correct? Is my my assumption I think there makes sense. Unless it's possible to just kind of ignore all that and just do a little something something like this. I mean, it's all good, you know? It's it's all a question of formalities in the end. This is the part that's in the weird spot zone. <laughs> Man, all of these. Alright, so you need a shell to get that down. That much is clear. We've got a lot of blocks. There's a shell. There's a guy. Do I need him alive to do something? I mean, it's possible. This is not something I can go in. Okay, you're probably meant to push down on the mushrooms up there to do something. To get the key. Like, you push them down so that they erase the blocks. And that pipe is probably a one-sided that kind of pipe. Alright. So I'm just looking at the elements. What? And the shell. So you get the shell here, though. Probably just need help to get up there. So yeah, you probably need to do things here in order to get stuff. Man, it's a good thing I'm around to be able to really tell about the real things. What? Is there anything to be do done down there? No, you need like a Yoshi or something. But you are given like all the tools necessary to be able to get it back up here. So I just knocked that down. 
I now have a sh springboard down there. Is a in a place where I can go collect it, I wonder. This is what we're going to find out together! Yo, discovering things. I am not alone. Hmm, no, so I don't really have the means. Okay. And that just makes us all return here, sad and unlightened. Okay. Is there anything else at all with any of my tools that I can do? I don't know if you're supposed to, like, make him change his mind, go down there, to s Ah! Okay. Whoops. Well, I am a little upset that I need to restart absolutely everything, but at the very least, they're not actually difficult. Huh. Alright. Okay, yeah, so, hmm. So there's no point in getting that yet. I feel like I should do it anyways, though. Because it's something I'm gonna have to do at some point, regardless. So, so let's just free the springboard. Eventually, it's going to be needed. Here. Last time, I just muffed the jump. Well, I mean... Okay, that's kind of silly. So that means you're gonna have to... Oh. This isn't exactly easy. Not exactly hard, but not exactly easy either. Alright, now I am armed with a springboard. What do I do with this? I guess I can... Get all the way up there. Anything beyond this? So if I get a speed switch, I might want to go back. All right. Now is just the fun times where we erase wood from the continuity of the universe. <laughs> Something I've always dreamt to do. <laughs> Dreams do come true. There wasn't anything down there, wasn't there? I don't think so. But I'm just being cautious. No, just a door and a door. Alright. And some broken graphics now, but that's okay. But, like... Can I go over here? I suppose I can just leave this here and go get back my springboard. Because, yeah, springboard is a permanent object. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a little bit of object manipulation, that's fine. That is kind of expected, honestly, with what was presented, because that's going to give us the ability to cross over to the other side here. Don't know why there's that vine spot, uh, but it looks pretty exciting. So now that I've got this, I can go... <laughs> Good job, ra o cow You're the best in the world! Not sure what's up with that springboard that was standing on nothing. There you go. being here, but that doesn't really, like, help me at all. Uh, and I think I just kind of lock myself in a unwinnable spot here. Uh, well, especially if I get that coin. So you're supposed to get out another springboard to get down there to get the key? A little confused. Is this guy able to follow me? Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, come on, why are you so? I I need to test this out. 
Dude, I'm up here. Oh, we can. So I would be able to bounce up. So I can... Okay, 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 okay. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Yo. And with that, I can... Really? Does that mean that I cannot just beat the level now, then? It went but really do? Yeah, a lot of these elements seems to be completely superfluous, and then I beat the level. What? Is there something I missed? <laughs> Whoops! Because <laughs> that was just my problem. I didn't know what to do there, but I mean, I guess that solves it. Well, then, this level was not nearly as bad as I remembered at all. Although I feel like I broke, like, a lot of things. It's hard to believe that, like, back then, though, like, even the first two rooms took me a long while to figure out back then, just because I didn't have as much knowledge about the tiny intricacies about the engine. Next time, a level that I do remember being kind of a nightmare, though, requiring some super advanced nonsense stuff. I guess I'll, we'll see how it really goes, though. Like, it's kind of hard to predict at this point, isn't it? <laughs>